modern technologies of diagnosis and treatment of living cells, balance of bioelectric and bioelectromagnetic fields in chromosomes. A living cell contains two sets of chromosomes, which are completely symmetric. The total bioelectromagnetic charge of each set is opposite to the other ones, but their absolute values are quite equal. Hence, the opposite and equal charges neutralize each other, causing a balance in the cell. The perfect balance in this part helps the cell have an accurate and flawless performance in chromosomal section. Human's living cell contains 46 chromosomes, consisting of two categories, having 22 chromosomes each, plus two X chromosomes in female and X and Y chromosomes in male. Chromosomes are made up of two main parts, DNA and a great number of small coiled cores called histones. Usually, small parts of each DNA helix are wrapped around cores of histones. Histones are the bioelectromagnetic centers of chromosomes. There are bioelectromagnetic waves in each chromosome string that causes bioelectric flow in human body. The waves vary in different periods of chromosomal activities. Chromosomes produce the lowest cellular bioelectromagnetic waves when the person is in a deep sleep, and they produce the highest cellular bioelectromagnetic waves during the detachment phase of homonymous and equal chromosomes in cell division, that is, the telophase stage of cellular mitosis. The bioelectromagnetic energy management of cells is the responsibility of a cylinder-shaped cell structure called centriole. Each centriole is made of nine triplet microtubules, totally 27, with each of them being responsible for nearly one trillion movements in cells. To describe the bioelectromagnetic balance of chromosomes, we initially categorize them into two A and B types. Category A controls the right part of a male's body and the left part of a female's body from head down and category B controls the left part of the body in males and the right part of the body in females. A and B chromosome categories control the opposite parts in male and female. It means men and women mirror each other in terms of basic cellular structure. The bioelectromagnetic balance in humans' chromosomal structure means that while the cells are resting, the chromosomes of A and B categories are quite equal in terms of amount and volume of bioelectromagnetic energy and quite opposite in terms of polarity. This crisscrossed structure neutralizes external unbalancing factors, establishing chromosomal balance. If there were no cross structures, unbalancing factors would affect the chromosomes of one category more quickly, causing chromosomal imbalance. But in chromosomes cross structure, the opposite side receives and reduces pressures inflicted on one half of the body and makes it equal in the other side. The chromosomal balance plays a very essential and fundamental role in cellular activities and its disorder has a fundamental impact on the general activities of a cell. The cross structure and highly advanced automatic control system of a cell always creates the balance and protects it. If the impact of internal and external factors in this section exceeds the cell's defense capacity, it leads to chromosomal bioelectric and bioelectromagnetic imbalance. The inequity is the main cause of some disorders that will be explained in the next discussion. A. Positive bioelectric potential difference. In this form of inequity, if chromosome A1 has plus 5 millivolt electric charge, chromosome B1 will have less than minus 5 millivolts. B. Negative bioelectric potential difference. In this form of inequity, if chromosome A1 has plus 5 millivolt electric charge, 
chromosome B1 will have more than minus 5 millivolts. C. Positive bioelectromagnetic potential difference. In this form of inequity, if chromosome A1 has plus 5 nanogauss electromagnetic charge, chromosome B1 will have less than minus 5 nanogauss. D. Negative bioelectromagnetic potential difference. In this form of inequity, if chromosome A1 has plus 5 nanogauss electromagnetic charge, chromosome B1 will have more than minus 5 nanogauss. E. Reverse bioelectric potential difference. In this form of inequity, which is rare, the bioelectric charge of chromosome A1 that should be plus 5 millivolts is reversed and changes to minus 5 millivolts. Also, the bioelectric charge of chromosome B1 that should be minus 5 millivolts is reversed and changes to plus 5 millivolts. F. Reverse bioelectromagnetic potential difference. In this form of inequity, which is rare, the bioelectromagnetic charge of chromosome A1 that should be plus 5 nanogauss is reversed and changes to minus 5 nanogauss. Also, the bioelectromagnetic charge of chromosome B1 that should be minus 5 nanogauss is reversed and changes to plus 5 nanogauss. Bioelectric and bioelectromagnetic imbalance of chromosomes may be individual or combined. In the individual form, there may be an imbalance in all chromosomes. For instance, all of 23 pairs of chromosomes may have one type of positive bioelectric imbalance. In the combined form, each of the chromosomes may have one type of imbalance. Reversed bioelectric and bioelectromagnetic potential differences are very severe inequities and usually activates the death signal and opposite cellular suicide. If the cell does not commit suicide during the moving and reversing of the potential difference, it will be damaged by severe bioelectromagnetic disarrays and it will be out of control of the living being's central control system. Therefore, it turns to a disobedient cell and causes many dangerous and fatal diseases. It seems bioelectric and bioelectromagnetic imbalances of chromosomes cause at least 20% of very complicated and severe diseases. The severest and most lethal of these diseases caused by such types of imbalances are cancers, 